All right, today we are going to discuss how the Kings routed the Warriors last night, in particular by making one key adjustment that may even have ended up being unintentional, but it worked out to make their offense more efficient and their defense as efficient as it was before. These first four clips I'm showing right here all have one thing in common. And that is that they don't have Sabonis in the game. No disrespect to Sabonis, but he is not a guard and is going to be and he's going to be unable to play make at the same level as the guards. So the first thing is Sabonis is back in for these clips because there are two auxiliary uh, principles that the Kings took advantage of. So the first thing is when you go smaller, you're in definition, you're going to have usually better ball handlers and better shooters on the court. So the first thing is looking at the game, we see the Kings shot about 7% better on three on the game than the Warriors did. In the second half especially, the Kings seemed like there were stretches where they couldn't miss from behind the arc. Having five guards on the court allows you to space the defense out more and it's easier to get open looks when anyone is sagging off of someone that is a good shooter. And the other concept is when you have guards on the court, you'll be able to attack mismatches more, which the Kings went after Jordan Poole, DiVincenzo primarily, but then also Looney when they had the small lineup as well. Okay, so then we're gonna look at specific clips when the Kings are in small lineups because Sabonis was in foul trouble um, in the second half. So these, I think, illustrate the best concepts for why the Kings won the game. So first off, we can see spread out. Look how spread the defense has to be. Jeremy has to be over here. Clay has to be over here because those both represent shooters. You get athlete against defender. You attack him getting downhill. Essentially, blow by force another defender to come help. And what you have are on the perimeter, shooters. Help comes, bang. Notice this is 30 seconds later, one possession later, same concept. We have five out spacing. There's no big, no help. Any help is gonna have to come from off a shooter. Okay. What do the Kings do? They're like, oh, we can attack DiVincenzo, get downhill, attack DiVincenzo. Help comes a little bit here. Clay uh, jabs a little bit, but Draymond's the one that helps off as well as Gary Payton, kick out to the corner, open three. And so then the question is, oh, what if we bring Looney in the game? He's a better rim protector. Maybe he'll be able to help stop those drives and allow us to stay home on shooters on the perimeter. What do the Kings do? They're like, okay, you're going to put a big, when we have five guards right here, all we're going to do is we're going to attack him and let that create our offense. Attack, get downhill, help comes right here, open three. Five out. We got Draymond and Looney in the game in this situation. So the Warriors are going what their big lineup would be. And the Kings have gone the exact opposite where they're going small with it. Okay, Herder gets the ball, who's not even that athletic. And he's going to be like, oh, I'm going to attack Looney. And it's just guards are going to be able to guard this significantly better because Looney has to be so worried about the drive that he's going to be out of position. The Kings get another look. So the question I have for going into game seven is that do the Kings do this intentionally where they try and attack with a small lineup or do they go with Sabonis? Because this is like legitimately the Kings got eight wide open looks that they wouldn't have gotten if Sabonis was in the game because you wouldn't have had to help because you have Looney just sitting in the middle. So let's just look at these two plays real quick. So one, this is Monk is wide open. He sees the pass coming. Got it. Uh, 10 feet till Steph gets there. That's a catch and shoot three. Compare that. Compare that to this possession where Sabonis is in the game. Looney is able to immediately provide help and degree of difficulty on this shot compared to the last one. Like, that's a great shot by Fox, but like this is tremendous defense. And like that is a much, much more difficult and lower percentage shot than the one that Monk hit a possession ago. 